in master's course. Uh, my presenta presentation is about development of output using ground vision maps. I will start with the introduction, measuring ground vision force, 3D modeling, finite element analysis, force sensitive register test, and conclusion. Mocking is the most important research area in human robots. Many researchers do research to realize global mocking close to mankind. Normally, humanoid robot has flat wood. This flat wood makes robot walk safely, but the knee and hip moves more, so the, the walking is very unnatural. Uh, to solve this problem, in this study, the uh, toe attached robot wood was developed. Figure 1 is 7 stages of human game. In the push-up phase, middle of figure, figure 1, human moves forward by pushing the forward. The power generated at this moment called push-up power. This power is responsible for approximately 80% of forward proportion during human working. This power calculated by multiplying the ground rate of force by the moment arm distance and angular velocity. To, <coughs> to make the full attention of output, the ground reaction force was measured. To measure the ground reaction force, five men in their 20s, now pain or disabilities in their lower extremities were selected as subjects. Their average height is 1.72 meters, and age is 25 years old, and weight is 67.2 kilograms. Subjects walk on flat land with 2 km per hour, 4 km per hour, and 6 km per hour speed. During walking, measure the ground reaction force at hill and metatarsal bones. And subjects walk on 10 degrees of hill and 10 degrees down hill with 4 km per hour, and measure the ground base of force from the Table 1 and figure 2 is the average maximum ground base of force according to the gate speed. At hill, 2 km per hour has 635.5 newtons, and 4 km per hour has 722.9 newtons. 6 km per hour has 979.3 newtons. The ground reaction force increases gradually as the gate speed increases. In the case of metatarsal bones, there is no significant difference between 2 km per hour and 4 km per hour. It is seems that there is a basic ground reaction force caused by body weight, so their difference is small. And 6 km per hour has 1,000 229 newtons, which is 82% larger than 4 kilometers per hour. Figure 2 and figure 3 is average maximum ground reaction force according to the ground angle. At hill, the 10 degrees downhill has 8,000 54.5 newtons, which is bigger than flat land or 10 degrees of hill. But in the case of metatarsal bones, the 10 degrees uphill is bigger than 10 degrees downhill or flat land. It is because that and in 10 degrees downhill, the center of mass is located behind of the body, so the load is concentrated at hill. And 10 degrees uphill, the body weight, the center of mass is located at in front of the body, so the load is concentrated at the muscle bones. The designing of the robot and fitting element analysis was conducted with autodesk event. Fitting element analysis was conducted to figure out whether there is a 3D printing filament can withstand in the working environment and measured ground reaction force was applied at the element analysis. Figure 4 is the design robot foot with autodex inventor. Previous robot foot is a monolithic foot which is 
single unit protons to kill. And but this robot has two parts, the tools and the food. Between the two parts, the, the torsion, torsion spring is located to give the push-up power. Figure 5 and table 3 is the result of finite element analysis with ground waves force at 2 km per hour, 4 km per hour, and 6 km per hour speed. 2 km per hour has 24.46 megapascal, and 4 km per hour has 25.89 megapascal, and 6 km per hour has 47.01. As the ground gear force increases, the inner pressure also increases. Figure 6 and table 4 is the result of infinite analysis with 10 degrees downhill, flat land, and 10 degrees uphill. 10 degrees downhill has 24.6 uh, megapascal, and flat land has 25.89 megapascal and 10 degrees uphill is 28.41 megapascal. And table 5 is physical properties of 3D printing filament. Uh, in this study, the 3D onyx was used to 3D as 3D printing filament, which is carbon fiber, as the and it seems that the only can withstand the working environment. And FSR sensor test was conducted to determine the similarity between robot working and real human working. Three FSR sensors were used in this test. The sensors mounted at heel, metatons of bones, and toes. The FSR sensor radius were obtained by walking on the flat land. During walking, during human walking, the changes of ankle angle were measured with gyro sensor MPU 6060 or 5.0. Through this data, walking was implemented with uh, steel bar and servo bar with the manufacturer's bar. The FSR sensor values of output also obtained with the same sensor location shown as human. This is the FSR sensor test visual. A is human walking and B is robot walking. The blue line FSR sensor 1 is located at toes and red line FSR sensor 2 is at metaphors bones and the yellow one, FSR sensor 3, is located at the hill. Now, uh, as the gaze turkey, the yellow line increases. That means the hill is touched at ground. <coughs> and the, yellow, the red line, red, the values of red line increases, which means that the metatosa bone is on the ground and blue line, blue line increases that means toes is on the ground and the yellow line decreases that means kill is above the ground and the blue line and red line decreases at almost the same time that means that the food is the whole food is about the ground. Every single gate has the same same thread, and it also raw food also have has the same similar thread. <coughs> the the heel strikes on the ground and touch it. The gun spot touches the ground and toes at the hill and the hill off and they did not push off base. 
uh, that it in the two graphs, the timing that the values of sensor increases and increases is similar, and it means that a robot hood can walk similar to Mega. In this study, the ground mission force issued by human walking was measured, and robot hood was designed with two parts, toe and foot. The element the element analysis was conducted to figure out whether the 3D printing filament can withstand a walking environment. An FSR sensor test was conducted to determine the similarity between human walking and robot walking. Consequently, uh, ground mission force applied robot can walk closer to mankind. mankind. Uh, later, I will measure the CMP of robot food flat foot and human foot. So I will check this robot can walk stably as human and the previous human robots. Thank you.